Welcome back to Silent Hill Homecoming. In the last episode, we started exploring the Grand Hotel. Let's keep exploring it. By the way, I'm still sick, so even though my voice is doing better, it might sound worse because it's like super extra stuffy right now. So we ended here. I remember we were hearing somebody like singing or humming like a feminine voice. I don't hear it anymore now that I've looted the game for some reason, but it was here. And also this creepy door with an open maw looking thing <laughs> made out of broken boards. Yeah, something's really not right with that room. Josh, are you in there? <laughs> oh no. No one comes to visit anymore. Who are you? I wish I could remember. Who left you here all alone? Everyone else is gone. Don't blame them. You can understand, can't you? It's hard to watch something die. Tell me what you need. I'll see what I can do. It's so difficult to remember. The warm sunlight dancing on the water. The smell of cotton candy in the air. And the sound of wind blowing through the trees. Find them for me. And I'll give you what you need. How will I know when I found them? Three small windows of better days. You'll know when you see them. Okay, I'll look around. You have a kind voice. <laughs> there, now they've started humming again. <clears throat> Man, the writing is so bad. That whole encounter. I like, I like the uh, the creepiness of this, of approaching this open maw made out of broken boards on a door, and then you hear a voice from within, but you can't see them. That's creepy. I love that. But then Alex starts talking, and it's just bad. They just say a bunch of bad things. <laughs> I'm not sure how much is the actor and how much is the material, but... <clears throat> they seemed... Like, after they were told, after they got as much information as they could from them, like, who left you here and why are you here, who are you? After that, they're just like, all right, what do you need? <laughs> like, they're resigned to the fact that, okay, I need to do something for you so that I can continue the game. It's like, what the hell? It just totally, like, ruins the mood. That just feels so gamey, the things that they want me to do. And the way Alex responds to it is so gamey and just, uh... Anyway, let's find three small windows into something. Into cotton candy, water, and something else. This bed is really dirty. Sure is, Alex. This window's opaque. Can't see anything. Sam, I can't thank you enough for all your hard work in restoring the atrium to its former glory. My illness continues to worsen, but it gives me great comfort that my Carol and I can find solace in the beautiful garden you've created. Thank you so much, Clayton. I can't see my face. Maybe you will in 404. 404. That's the next floor up. <clears throat> Springs are all worn out. I don't think that's the biggest problem here. So, can I get by here? Can I, like, go under or something? So, Alex Shepard, who has returned from war, can't step over this, like, board here. I can't step over that. <laughs> that seems so... such an artificial barrier. It'd be trivial. 
Oh, this isn't even on the map. Yeah, I love that they're doing that thing where you get a map of a real place and then add on to it or cross things out because they don't exist anymore. That sounds bad. Here looks like it hasn't worked in years. That towel actually doesn't look too bad. It's a bit stained and gross, but compared to everything else, it's blocked. Must be another way around. Dearest Sam, I can't describe how much my life has turned a corner since you began tending the atrium. With Clayton's illness slowly taking its toll, I felt so lost and alone. Your presence and your gift in restoring the garden. It's the single ray of light in my tired life, and it brings me joy. Thank you for the many wonderful evenings we've spent together. It will be different, better, when I no longer have to pretend. All my love, Carol. Oh, so they're waiting for Clayton to die because Sam and Carol are uh, lovers, I guess. Okay. Four oh five scares me. I left my ducky in there. <laughs> so we've heard, uh, we've seen a no for four oh four and four oh five. Maybe each one's going to correspond to one of the things I need. <coughs> There's a hole in there. Oh, I think it goes up to the next floor. Oh, that's the only way I can go, isn't it? Yep. I think I can climb on this rubble. It seems stable enough. I trigger that by trying to open the door? The hell is that? <clears throat> yeah, fourth floor now. Oxygen tanks around here. Caring for somebody in this bed. Carol, I'm struggling to find the right words. My body was broken, and now you've broken my heart, too. I don't know why. I loved you unconditionally, gave you everything I had. I thought you loved me, too. Guess I was a fool. There are things about Sam you don't know, and if you did, I guarantee you'd feel differently. I want to forgive you, Carol, but I can't. I have simply nothing left. Get off my face! The 
delivery notice, El Camilla Hospital. Two oxygen tanks removed and replaced with full ones for Mr. Doyle's suite. Oh, God. Fucking hell, that scared me. <laughs> Coming up short. Damn. Damn. Holy shit. <laughs> Axe is not a great weapon for those enemies, is it? Holy shit. They just like kept attacking, 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 attacking. Maybe I finally need to learn how dodging works. I tried it, but I really don't get it. Uh, my last save was from a while ago. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, let's try this again. I'm going to try the axe again because I want to try dodging. Hold on. <laughs> Medkit. <clears throat> Think that heals me all the way. Yeah, pretty much. Man, like. Okay, uh, let's heal. So it looks like you can do a counterattack. I think I saw that in one of the tips somewhere. And yeah, if you get a successful dodge, meaning you like dodge at the right time so that it does a little special animation for like dodging the attack, then you can follow it up with a counterattack. That was working very well. But there were many, many times where they just kept hitting me again and again and again and again. And for the most part, I couldn't do anything. Like, it didn't matter whether I mashed dodge. I couldn't get a successful dodge off once I got, like, stunlocked, pretty much. So I don't know if there's something I can do differently to dodge better, or if I simply should use a better weapon suited for these enemies. Probably that one. Yeah, I think for nurses, uh... Have I used the pipe? I know the knife worked well. How fast is the knife? The knife is really good, and it's very fast. Let's use that against nurses. It's like a hole inside of the wall. It doesn't, like, go through the wall. Hmm, can I move this? Because there's like a hole behind it. Yeah. Whoa. Weird camera again. Ah, oh, right. Let's get to room 404. This is the one where it said, I can't see my face. Maybe you can in room 404. <laughs> Great. Where's that face? Show me that face, huh? Oh, a picture. This must be one of the memories that she's looking to reclaim. It's a message on the back. I'm thinking the person in the room, by the way, that we're helping is probably Carol. How long for the days before my illness overtook me? I thought... I mean, I thought the person in the bed was not Carol. I thought... Ah, I'm not sure. It'll all make sense. From my window, I can see a large oak. The leaves are ablaze, yellow and red, and with each day, more of them fall. 
When the sun is low, the shadows from its branches trail across my walls, but soon after the darkness fills the room. Please come and see me soon. I want to share one more memory with you while I still can. Love always. like demonic noises. This is an interesting scene. Oh, they're talking about the painting. Can't even try to press the buttons. It's a long drop down. Wait, so where does that leave? Oh, I haven't tried 401. Okay, where does that leave me? <laughs> mm. Nowhere? I must be missing something. Because I can't get past... He Whoa. Very convenient that after that cutscene this door just explodes with bugs <laughs> did the bugs break it down anyway i didn't know i didn't know that uh, pyramid head was part of this game they really seem to like to use pyramid head since it became so iconic from silent hill 2 and just like in uh which one was it was it origins that had Pyramid Head, or, or no, Origins had the Pyramid Head replacement, right? Butcher Head, or whatever the hell I called them. <laughs> yeah. They like to use that character, but it just doesn't fit in these games. That character is very specific to the protagonist in Silent Hill 2. Toilet smells like poison. So where did Pyramid Head come from? Did they drop down here? That hole? the axe.
Josh, wait! What the hell? You gotta be shitting me! <laughs> I like the monster design on those. We fought them once before in the elevator. Of course, they were kind of stationary there, but the fire axe worked pretty well against him back there. Hmm. No, it seems to be too slow. Oof. trying the dodge thing and I don't I just don't quite get it like I'm sort of dodging but I don't seem to be moving far enough away to actually get out of range of the attack so I still need hit I don't know let me go back to the knife get the hell out of my stomach oh fucking hell Yeah, I'm liking the knife, really. Just because of the agility. Jim, they were there again last night. I saw Carol creeping towards the main ballroom, and you know where that leads. I don't know what the old man would do if he were to find out. Given his health, he might not make it. Do you think I should say something? Horrible noises! God, it sounds like they're all around me, but they're not. Mr. Jones, I saw something strange the other night, and I wanted to bring it to your attention. I'd unlocked the service doors to the atrium to let Mayor Bartlett in, just like I usually do. I came by later to see if he needed any help. You know how I like to grow things, too. And I saw him dragging one of his bags of fertilizer inside. Only it didn't look like any kind of fertilizer bag I've ever used. It was real heavy, and he seemed to kind of be struggling with it. Okay, it was a body. <laughs> he didn't see me, so I crept away. Should I tell the sheriff? I don't know what to do, but I thought you should know. Paul Ashley. So the mayor killed someone? This postcard could be one of her memories. There's a message on the back. What a wonderful day. The smell of cotton candy and the sound of laughter filled the air. Oh, creepy. Silent Hill Amusement Park. Bunny. Days like this make me appreciate what it was like to be young and carefree. 
Family is the most important thing, and our children are the future. I only wish I could feel that innocent again. See you soon. Ah, right, it's called Lakeside Amusement Park. Those are some weird little color stains down there. Yes, health drink. Another one. All right. I could just shoot him. They're not worth shooting, surely. No, I'm going to save that for a boss fight. Uh-oh. was that? I know I saw at some point like a tip screen or something say that if an enemy is stunned, you can like finish them off or something? Do like a special attack? But I don't know how to tell when an enemy's stunned. But maybe that was it? Anyway, yeah, that worked pretty well. Oh, hey. I don't need to enter the weapon menu to switch my weapons. I can use one, two, three. Knife, pipe, axe, four is nothing, five is pistol. Seems like you can always push these things. Oh. Hmm. There's no way to really know that's there other than just to try it. Makes me think that these drawings are just like collectibles, basically. Two people... Covering up somebody who's in a grave. And it's raining. Yeah, I guess I'll try to move any of those that I see. Smell. The smell. I can't breathe in here. It seems stable enough to climb down here. Oh, that would take me to 403 probably? Do I want to go down right now? I don't think I do. Not yet. Alright, there's nothing up here. Oh, okay, well... I wanted to... shit. I wanted to try something. But I failed. Oh, I think there it was stunned. It was like cowering. Yeah, I wanted to try... blocking. Like, sometimes I dodge. 
I go to try to dodge, and I don't really dodge out of the way, but I do somehow block their attack with my weapon. And I just, I don't know if that's like tied to the dodge thing, and it's just part of it. Sometimes you block instead of dodging or something. Or if that's tied to something else, I don't know. I don't know, the combat in this game is really weird. It's hard to get a grip on exactly how it works. And it feels terrible, also. <laughs> it's not good combat. That's a bunch of barbed wire going down there. I'm not going to use that as a ladder, am I? Good. Postcard. It's a message on the back. I have some sad news to share. Yesterday I took a boat out, as far as I could row, and I dipped my face into the cold, clear water. As I leaned over the side of the rowboat, my necklace caught on the oar and the chain snapped. I saw your precious gift slip into the blackness. I wanted to dive in after it, but the water was so icy, so deep. Please forgive me. I miss you. I think I found them all, I should give them back to her. I think I found all the memories that woman is looking for. I should give them back to her. <coughs> Wait, so I can't get out here? Do I have to go all the way back around the way I came? You can't wash it off. Why make me go all the way back around? Is it just so they can throw more enemies in my face? Yes, it is. Damn. I just kept attacking him and kind of just stun locked him. Can I do the same thing? Can I just unlock all the enemies? Yeah, so weird. So their head has been taken from where a head normally is and is now in their crotch, basically. Right. How did I get here? Just came from the hole, didn't I? So I guess I go to the stairs. Is there any reason for me to fight it? Like, what if I just run past it? Eh, let's fight it. Okay, they do do like a counter attack. So, can't quite just stun lock him. Heal. Not try to avoid that, like, stun lock from them. It's brutal. Ah, shit. Okay, maybe I should try to just avoid these enemies. Uh... Uh, that way, that way, that way... Okay. Well, I need to go into this room, so... Let's get him to come out. Oh, there's another one coming. Uh, I think? Coming or moving?
Yep. Yep. Hopefully they don't follow me for too long. I don't know how aggro works. Um, where am I going from here? To the hole? Wait, how do I get there? Ah, oh, right. There's another hole. Okay, oh shit, one of those. Actually, that's fine. I could just shoot him. Or I could run past him. Nah, it's just, it's just two shots. Didn't mean to shoot twice. Let's go back and save before we talk to them. Why do I feel like I'm about to start a boss fight? <laughs> Is this what you wanted? Thank you. Strange key. Oh, it's not a key to this door. I was expecting this to open. The what's the key for then? Look at the description. Hopefully this key will open the door to the room Josh is in. Um, we do have a locked door back here. Yeah. Okay, it's probably that one. Yeah, this one. 